what's happening Todd G here and today we're going to talk about what is a high conversion sales funnel and your sales funnel wiki so stick around I've got some great info for you let's get after it alrighty so what is a high conversion high conversion funnel anyway in your sales funnel wiki? So let's just jump right in. What is a sales funnel? Well, a sales funnel is really a process. It's the path that people take on their way to buying your product or service. And a high conversion sales funnel converts leads to buyers at a very high percentage. Very important, right? A good sales funnel educates leads to a buying decision. I'm gonna show you an example of this right in a few slides. So here's a sample sales funnel. Um, you can exchange the words on the left for different terminology, but in basic, basic terms, a sales funnel is it, it represents a funnel because it starts out really big at the top and it, it kind of uh, goes down to smaller at the bottom, just like a funnel that you use for anything, like putting oil in your car. Um, at the top, you have leads, which is traffic, which is a lot of people coming in. Then they get educated on different things and different uh, solutions that you might have to their problem along the way. And then at, one, at, at a certain point, some of those will convert into sales and come out the bottom. So in this example, you have leads, you have sales calls, follow-up conversion sales. Sales calls could be uh, replaced with emails, email follow-up could be replaced with text, could be replaced with uh, personal one-on-one -on -one coaching. I mean, there, there's various methods here, but just realize that as they go through the sales phone process, uh, you are trying to lead them to a buying decision. Now, again, this is going to be a quick, short, to the point video, but I will have a, uh, a good, nice overview in a few slides. So the five stages of a sales funnel. Now, there could be seven stages, there could be 10 stages, some more complex funnel will have even more stages. But in general, this is, you know, these are the basic five stages of a sales funnel. So you have awareness. So that's the top of the funnel where it's very wide. Somebody's aware, they're learning about a problem that they have maybe, or a potential solution to that problem. And then as they go down further in the funnel, there's interest. There's the, 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 the leads, the people, the traffic, they're actively searching for solutions on Google, on YouTube, on Bing, or what have you, right? They're just searching for a solution to their problem. And at some point in the phone, they get down to almost the conversion phase and it's decision time, right? They need to make a decision on if they want that solution that you have to their problem. And then there's action. That's the actual conversion process. That's where the sales process happens. That's when they purchase the product or service that will solve their problem. Now, then the fifth stage, which some people leave out, but I believe is, is very important, is the retention phase. It's keeping that customer happy so that they will be a repeat customer. Uh, most successful business owners know that they're, they're you know, their bread and butter are their customer base. If they keep that customer base happy and they have re repeat customers, then that builds their business long term. It's sustainable business over a long period of time. Not, not to say that the other leads aren't important whatsoever. They are. They're very important. But once you have a customer, you need to keep those customers happy. Now, this is my high conversion sales funnel. If you look on the left, basically that's traffic, aka leads, aka people. That's people looking for a solution to their problem. Now they come in from organic search, from uh, social media, from Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, what have you, from YouTube, from Google, from Bing, from Yahoo search, and from paid traffic. 
they all come in the red arrows point to either my blog which is my website with blog posts on content that uh, you know uh, ranks in search engines and they go into the blog or they go to my squeeze page which is the beginning of my sales funnel process which basically a squeeze page is just a page that squeezes the potential lead into entering their email address in with good content now if they come in for my blog post on the blog post i will have a way for them to click on a button or a link to go to my squeeze page so it all funnels into the beginning of the sales funnel which is the squeeze page aka opt-in page aka uh, the, the page where people enter their email address in now once they enter their email address in to get this awesome free content or whatever it is they go to a thank you page or what's commonly referred to as a bridge page and that's just with me thanking them for entering their email address uh, explaining what to expect over the next several days and this is what I have this is what you'll get short to the point but it's a good introductory point it's a way to introduce yourself it's a way to build know like and trust and then they go on to my video training uh, lessons uh, the video training lessons on a daily basis now I will have anywhere from a three to five to seven day training process set up on one one page uh, one web page uh, video training with some uh, content below the training and a button to click uh, whatever product or service I'm trying to uh, encourage them to invest in so uh, immediately they get the video training one they get a link to it in their email inbox they go over there it explains it talks about problems solutions to uh, to those problems that they might have it educates them on my product or service and then there's a button below to say hey if you want to grab it go here day two they get the video training two day three they get video training three etc etc and at the end of the training series maybe a five day or seven day or three day uh, they will get an additional email with a link to my main offer page and on that page it will just be mostly a recap of what I talked about over the last three to five to seven days and then it will be like why you need this the solution to your problem now a little bit harder of a sales pitch if you will it's not like a sleazy sales pitch or a used car salesman sales pitch but it's basically telling them why it's urgent that they get this product or service now. Now, after that, they go on my daily uh, email list, which is more of a broadcast system, uh, where basically I could send an email out on a daily or every other day or every so many day basis with other value-based content in my emails with maybe a soft uh, recommendation back to my product or service. Now, the important thing to understand here is most of this process is automated. Once you set this up, it's automated. So people coming into the funnel, uh, everything is automated. The emails go out automatically on a daily basis. Uh, all the content is set up on the sales funnel itself, the sales funnel process. Everything is automated until they get on my broadcast email or daily email, and that's more of a manual process. But that's the key to building a long-term long -term successful business and this is a high conversion funnel now if you would like to check out this high conversion funnel no worries you can head on over to the highlighted uh, site there uh, on the screen at moneyinthecloud.com forward slash start it's a completely free training awesome free training but you can model after everything that's in that funnel the emails that come out the screens, the, the video training lessons, the one one page uh, web training series. Go through this entire funnel, I encourage you, and model it. Make your own version of it. Do not copy it. Do not copy the videos, the written content, the emails, anything of that. Copying is wrong. It can get you into legal trouble, but you are more than welcome, my friends, to model this high conversion sales funnel. Okay, quick and to the point today. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, my One of my dogs, Smokey, here says, go ahead and like and subscribe. 
So from Smokey and Todd G, we are signing out of this video. I will see you in the next video.